Odell joins us now. What's going on, Odell? How you doing? Good. How you doing? We're doing all right. Moral victory or not, you guys played really tough against a team that was undefeated, came out undefeated as well. You guys could have easily have won the game. Do you come away feeling good that you played a team that tough, or do you come away feeling badly that you lost the game? Um, a little bit of both. You know, it's just one of those games that, um, you know, we needed to win, and, and we wanted to win, and um, we're in great position to win. But uh, it just didn't turn out that way. So, um, you know, tough, tough loss, and you chalk it up, and uh, you move on to Washington now. All right, they let you through their clutches on that first possession for the long touchdown. What were some of the adjustments the Patriots made to make sure that didn't happen again? Um, I mean, they just had a safety uh, kind of just rolling over the top and um, making sure that on the long balls, if 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 anything's going down, you know, he, he's in great position to um, make a play or, or, you know, anything like that. So they did a great job of disguising and um, – and and moving guys around. Now, Odell, I thought you were a little bit hard on yourself at the end of the game, taking the brunt of the loss, saying it was your fault. They still had three other chances to score a touchdown. But let's talk about the touchdown that was and then wasn't. What happened there? Um, whose fault was it? Do you believe in your heart that it was a touchdown? Um, yeah, absolutely. I, I know that you know when I went up to catch it and catching the ball and coming down on the ground and landing in the end zone um, two feet, you know, one after each other. And then, um, you know, for some reason didn't know which side, you know, he would come try and knock the ball away from. I tried to kind of move upfield, I guess, a little bit just to, to get away from him. And then, you know, he knocked the ball out before uh, a third foot got down. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not the referees. I'm not there to make the call. I'm, I'm really just more there to make the play, so it's kind of it's it's more. That's why I said it's on me for leaving the game in anybody else's hands. Um, you know, when we had the opportunity there, so um, I still I still take you know for, I still feel as if you know I lost us the game and and we had an opportunity right then and there to win it. But um, you know, you, like I said, you just kind of gotta you know you take it and and you know it's it's already Thursday now and you just move on. I guess what comes into question, Odell, looking at the replay, and yes, just showed it, is after you catch it, you kind of stick the ball out instead of tucking it in. Do you remember exactly why that re- that a reaction or motion happened as you caught the ball? Uh, like I said, you know, I was trying to move it away from okay. um, wherever he was, and uh, you know, he he just ended up, you know, getting back into position. So, um, you know, he he made a good play late after. Um, after the catch or, or whatever, and, and they called um, what they did. And uh, we had other chances to get in, and we didn't, and um, ended up losing the game. All right, now I'm watching the whole game, Odell, and please tell me what happened here. At the end of the game, everybody's shaking hands, and then I see Bill Belichick, who usually gets off the field as if the field is on fire. He's waiting, as you talk to somebody else, to talk to you. And then the TV cut away, and they went to the studio. And I wanted to throw something through the screen, but I want to ask you: What did he say to you then? What? what why was he waiting to talk to you after the game? Um, you know, just some words, some words that he shared with me of just, um, you know, I, I think we just, you know, we see eye to eye, and I, I've, uh, I've watched him for a long time, so it was great to, you know, finally be able to meet him and, um, you know, meet face to face and just. You know, just kind of shared some words with me, something, you know, more between me and him. I'll give you $5 to tell me. Come on. (laughs) (laughs) I got you, man. $6 and you got it. (laughs) Now, does the buy come at a good time or a bad time, Odell? Um, A little bit of both. You know, uh, a good time because it's it's late in the season, and, you know, now we have a a six-game stretch to make a push for and, um, you know, have a chance to go to the playoffs and, and hopefully do some good things there and, um, a bad time after coming off such a loss like that, and then you know not being able to return to the field, um, it, it definitely it definitely leaves you know a bad taste in your mouth. Tell me about your feelings when you heard that uh, Victor Cruz was going to be out for the remainder of the season. Uh, I mean, we always dreamed about Cruz and Beckham together, and I think you guys played six quarters together over the last two years. So, what was your your first reaction when you heard that Victor was going to be out for the year? Um, you know, it was tough just just being. You know, with him throughout the entire battle of, you know, when it started at Philly to trying to come back and, you know, wanting to be back so bad. And, um, you know, the, the body's going to make up for, for other areas of the body. It's going to try and do what it can. So, um, 
you know, just just the case of you know he, he injured something else, and then it just kept, you know, it kept getting re-injured, and it just could never, it could never, um, you know, fully heal, I guess. And uh, uh, it's just it's just unfortunate because you know how badly he wants to be on the field and how bad he wants to be with this team, um, and, and it's just not going to be able to happen for him this year. How much do you know about Akeem Nix? Um, I've actually met him already. Um, I, I've known about him before. Um, I, I've actually got to meet meet him, so it, it was great to be able to meet him this week. You know, we hang out a little bit, um, just get to know each other, and I, I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, to to playing with him for sure. Now, do you decompress this week, uh, Odell? I mean, what do you do? Because I think you want to stall this. Nobody feels great after you've played one game. People are beaten up. What are you going to do during this bye week? Um, you know, I, I, I took a day off or two and um, kind of just got back on schedule and uh, worked out today and you work out, you know, tomorrow just to stay, to stay fit and, um, you know, and then take, you know, take the, the rest of the weekend off and back to practice Monday, back to work. Will you watch a lot of football on Sunday? Um, yeah, I'll actually, I'll be, you know, uh, probably heading back um, to New York. I, I actually came out to see Jarvis um, in, in Miami, so I'm out in, you know, Fort Lauderdale where he is, spending some time with him. Uh, just good being able to catch up, you know, and um, it's been a while since I've seen him, so just enjoy a little bit of time off. All right, now, um, our producer said he saw an article recently where you said that Drake's music motivates you, so what do you listen to before the game when you're making those one-handed catches? Uh, um, I, I really, I listen to a lot of different music, you know, whatever Whatever comes on on the little playlist, you know, there's a lot of Drake, there's a lot of Future, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, everybody really, and it just kind of I just let it run, and whatever song is coming on, you know, if I feel a certain song um, in that moment, it, it may just stick with me, and that that may just be the song. But uh, for sure, Drake's music does motivate me. Um, you know, it's just it, it's it's crazy seeing it all kind of unfold. You know, uh, every everything that he's been doing, so. Um, I definitely got a little bit of his music on the on the uh, pregame warm up. Have you ever met him? Yes, I have. Good guy. Good guy, very good. Well, now if you're on Drake's side, you can't be a Meek Mill guy. You got to be against Meek, right? <laughs> you got to pick one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, Odell, enjoy your week off. Um, good luck against Washington. We'll talk to you and before then. What absolutely. was that? Oh, I was just saying. I mean. Well, don't, oh, Peter, bring, Peter's a big Redskin fan, Odell, but don't pay attention. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> and have a happy Thanksgiving. And you too. Thanks, man.